So, okay, let me see one thing here. I got a question from the audience about uh, cord blood cells versus stem cells. Can you just quickly tell us whether or not they, there's a difference there and that could be helpful in, in the way you're going here? Sure. So, so cord blood contains a whole range of stem and progenitor cells. Some are very specialized. So what traditionally is thought of as cord blood are the hematopoietic stem cells. Those are stem cells which are specialized to become blood, blood forming elements. That's, that's normally the distinction between those and other stem cells. Okay, and that could possibly be involved here? Or? Yes. Okay. Yes. So, so repopulating a placenta? Yes. You're serious here. <laughs> so you're basically taking the placenta, kicking out the old occupants and putting in new? Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Okay, I just want to make sure I understood it right. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> one last thing here. The Peruvian Indi Indians harvested stem cells 2,000 years ago That's right. and then made cave wall paintings bragging about it? That's right. That's right. In fact, you know, it's kind of funny because, um, like I said before, thank goodness this doesn't constitute prior art. But more importantly, all my colleagues in the field of genomics and proteomics, I want to let them know we have a 2,000 year head start on you. So. Well, you know, we saw the mushrooms earlier and, and we saw the wisdom lost, lost of ancients. You know, it, it's hard to argue that the ancients didn't have an extraordinary amount of wisdom and direction we didn't have. Bob, that was a tour de force, and that's before you take cells and put them into computers and grow them together. I'm not going there. That is unbelievable. Thank you <laughs> Thanks, so much. Thanks, James. Thanks, James. <laughs>